So it's 12.30, the initial plan, wake up at 6.30 this morning, head out to a local park. We're running a little behind, but we did get this packet. It's important for what we're going to do today. And then we gotta go. Invoice. So, we got some stuff from Canon. They're refurbished deals. They're STM lenses. It's a 55 to 250 STM lens. It's definitely what we're going to be using when we go out and do uh, some wildlife photography today. So, we got two identical lenses. So, the total cost for those was actually less than the price of a new one. Good deal in my opinion. We'll see you soon. Bye for now. Bye for now. Hello. Hi. We made it to our destination. We're here. And it's lightly snowing, which is pretty cool. We haven't really been out in uh, conditions like this, so we wanted to try something new. And just like our first two minutes here, we're like, oh, I can't wait to take a photo of this. I can't wait to take a photo of that. And there's actually a lot of people here right now, so we're just gonna spin around and maybe give you kind of like a view of what's behind us here. Sorry, I'm looking at the viewfinder, trying to make sure that I uh, get that all in frame. So, we're excited to get started, and we're going to be shooting some photos and taking some more videos along the way. And check out this. Somebody made a little snowman on the corner. That's Pretty cool. A okay, it's a koala. Somebody made a little koala, even though we don't have koalas here in uh, western New York, uh, besides at the zoo. So, we're excited. We'll catch you in a little bit. Bye. Oh, so, it's pretty cold out here. I can't uh, feel my toes. It's about 30, 33, 32 degrees, so that's freezing. Um, it's uh, The sun's starting to come out now. It's breaking through the clouds a little bit. But so far, we've just seen a couple geese and a few ducks. Some birds. And a couple, what was it, cardinal? I think it was a male cardinal and also a female cardinal. And a chickadee. Yes, so we're, cute. We weren't able to get the chickadee on camera, though. He was really fast. He just kind of came in and popped out. <laughs> yep. This is really fun though. We've never been out in these kind of conditions. We're not really prepared because I can't feel some of my extremities. <laughs> so if we do this again, and I think we will because this is awesome. Like yeah. The shots that we're getting are things that we haven't gotten before. Um, we just need to be a little bit more prepared and maybe get some of those like hand and feet warmers yeah something like that because i'm Oof. super cold we might head back to the car to defrost a little and then come back out yeah so here's a look around what's going on behind me so yeah so as you can see some of the water there is frozen so it's definitely cold out here so we will catch up with you in a little bit Maybe head back to the car. But the sun is actually coming out. Oh, the sun's starting to come out. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. That looks nice. Maybe we'll try to stick it out a little bit longer. just saw like uh it was like either a hawk or an eagle of some sort it's an eagle the guy said it was an eagle yeah i mean i don't know what it is it's personally no it was not a bald eagle so i know that an American dollar. <laughs> no it was not a bald eagle no. <laughs> but either way we saw it and we got a few photos of it and then i tried to kind of track it as it flew off but we only had like one auto focus point selected so i i missed my camera yeah i missed because this one was just gonna vlog on I didn't have the longer lens on it, so I just borrowed hers for a few shots. But um, so it was kind of up in this tree behind me, off to the side here. It was up there, and I kind of just spotted it out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, "Oh my god, there it is!" Because we knew it was on this side somewhere, but we didn't know where, exactly where because we took a lot of short break to warm up in the car. Um, but it's got a really nice view of the little pond back here. 
It's actually very peaceful and calm, so. Even from that far up, it looked enormous. So yeah, it was, it was a big bird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how big they actually get, but I would not want to mess with that because I feel like that could do some damage, yeah, especially with its uh its little talons. I mean, not little, but probably big talons. <laughs> Um, we uh, met a guy on the trail here and he said earlier it kind of came down in front of him and captured a squirrel and then like brought it up to the tree. Yeah. And just and, left it there. Yeah, it just left it there. And he came back later because uh, his initial shots were uh, a little too slow. So his shutter speed wasn't fast enough. So I, I'm assuming they came out a little blurry. So he wanted to come back and uh, he was trying to track it down. And so that's what we found. We found pretty cool yeah yeah we we're not expecting that uh so that's definitely a highlight for today